Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Sleeper Channel. Today we're going to be having a game of Stellaris, episode 1. Today we're going to be having uh, more of a isolationist aspect. Since we're going for Isolationist, we should be picking traits towards it. So, I think we'll go for... In, for... Um, research. <laughs> so... If you want to do... Hmm, should we? Nah. I think... Okay. that we want to take the non-adaptive trait because we're not going to be requiring it when well, they're only going to be isolation so it's not like we're going to be spreading out throughout all the empires we get one more but nah okay so this is our trait natural engineers strong charismatic and we're not adaptive for the type of government i'd say we'd be going for I'm not sure. Let's try, because Mega Cool we get more administrative capacity, so we'll definitely be going for that. Actually, yeah, we're going for Mega, Mega Cool. So I like to go for Private Prospectors and Trade Post, because that way we can make sure we have all our trade value instead of losing it all to pirates. And since we're going for Isolationist, I'm going to go for Xenophobe, uh, Materialist, and Militarist. Oops. And the only one. Imperial. Sorry about my bad spelling. Now, I'm not sure, what should we name that empire? Uh, the... What is our species name? Quentin. Actually, trade leak. Trading. Trading league. Damn it, that's not how you spell league. Hang on. There we go. Uh, personally, I like to go for something like this where you have a circle you have your empire you have your color i prefer to keep the black background because i tend to like it it suits it now personally i think i'm gonna go with the fungoid chips because they look nice uh sure chairman chairwoman uh so actually i like these colors Go for room room four. Looks nice. Color variant too. And that's all good. Let's go. Uh, now, if you're like me, I don't really like event stuffs. But to to make up for it. I'm gonna put. There's gonna be more AI empires. There's gonna be more fallen empires. There's gonna be two more order empires. 
uh, times one half of the world's times one primi primi prim primitives and times and times 1.5 crisis strength. We're gonna be going for captain difficulty, scaling difficulty off, and normal aggressiveness and random because if you have it clustered then it's you're all next to each other random it lets you expand and that's what we really want for this empire advanced neighbors off high plane density uh point f point f seven five so you can keep it strategic and gateways one yeah that's all good that's all good and yep caravina's on i'm a mode okay that's all the stats Let's go. Okay, here we are. So, I like to go for the research ones first. Just because it gets you, lets you have a head start. Okay, where are we? We are in the central area. Okay. Now... We're gonna go over here first. They get nice fortress systems over here, string of them. And we're gonna start building another science ship straight away. Use up all our alloys and speed up the game. Let's go. Now, the start of all the games is pretty slow, you know, because you've got to start exploring and then building your star bases, but if you play your cards Boom. right, you can get. We built something. You can get pretty good pretty quick. Now, what do we have here? We have ocean world, two ocean worlds. What is this? Like twenty-five and sixteen. Ooh, that twenty-five is gonna really help us. What's the size of this one? Nineteen. Ooh, yeah. That twenty-five is gonna really help us. Okay, yep, we got enough. Now get another scientist. Ah, uh, okay. I oh, know it's a normal survey. Yeah, we're gonna go for Roma. It's good to go for Roma early on in the game. Now you'll notice me, I'm pausing quite a lot in the st start of the game. That's just because it makes it easier to keep to play the game instead of having to constantly be checking. You'll also want to try to shift. Shift survey. That way you can queue up instead of having to constantly um, keeping keep reassigning the missions after they're finished. So we'll let it run now. Okay. So what do we need? Build mining stations. Get our economy good. 65% really? Well, that's an ocean world, right? Um uh, 16, 25. Oh, it's high gravity. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be a mining world. Yep, definitely. Max districts. Okay, so that means we're gonna have a lot of mining this world. And the other one we don't know. Let's keep going. Okay. Now, make another construction ship so I can keep up. Uh. Boom! We built something. Okay, there we go. Uh. Get you working on Anomaly the research files. Hey. Can we monetize this? Okay, so it's gonna be a bunch of gas stuff. Uh, we'll go for that. Okay, uh, tax structures are this one. Yep. Log updated. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Planetary exploitation forecast complete. Yeah. So, guys, I think. Complete. I think we'll be playing until we colonize our first world. Should be that hard. We'll get a, we'll get a base standing off, and then we'll end the video there. Okay, you. Some nice science and energy. 
Now, you always have problems with the energy early on. What's the 16? Okay. You always get, you have, always have problems with the energy early on because you don't have that good tech and energy isn't that, you don't really have very good energy usage and everything uses so much energy. Construction complete. You end up basically saving your empire on the, exporting the minerals you get on the market. Okay. Boom. We built something. Go for the expansion one. Because if you see here, colonization feature, we get another colony. That way we get some really nice colonies early on. You always want to go for the energy first. If you can do it, you go for the energy. Prospect see, analyzed. Okay. Now, the reason I'm not getting my construction ship over there is because when this one finishes serving I, this world, we can get it over there and get there. Speaking of which, I should probably should get another science ship. Let's just start serving over here. Okay, what am I doing here? So we have a semi. Oh, there you go. See? And we go to... Oh, need alloys. Okay. Well, we won't do that right now. We'll wait for our alloys. Get another scientist. What do we have? Normally, we succeed. We'll get you. Okay. Because uh, if I know Stellaris, it will always try and flood me with anomalies. Okay, let's go. Log updated. Uh, burnt. Okay. When we finish that, we'll get that. Okay. Uh, you have enough allies now. Boom. We built something. Cool. Okay. I always like to go for alloy foundries so we can get out so we can start getting alloys. Okay. I found something. Uh, we'll leave that be for now because that's too long. Okay. And uh, go check something. Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, fix that. Let's see. So finishing that. I found fifty percent. Yeah, we'll definitely leave that because it's way too long. Uh, we'll get a colony, save it for a colony ship. Oh, I need Planetary colonies. Planetary exploitation yep, forecast that. complete. So I'm Boom. talking about with we the built something. different things. And now that'll take allies. We need to save it for a colony ship. We'll just research for the time being. Oh, what is it? Oh, but, oh moats. Okay. Moats are good. Moats are fun. Get me good money on the market. Boom. We built something. Okay, and now we'll boost our alloy production. And a few months. Okay. So all good there. The reason why I got some of the certain things is because um Megacorps Anomaly get detected. bonus uh capacity uh, exploitation forecast Empire Sprawl. But the penalty, they get 50% penalty for if they we go over something. it. So, it's a balancing. That's why we're going for this type of empire where we're not doing too much. Except expanding to our borders. And then, oh, we could go for, no, nah, we'll go for colony because we want to make sure we have enough. Okay. And we're going to be colonizing the ocean world. All right. Now, as we get later on the habit habitability text, we'll push that into 70 and then further up. So that'll be all good there. How long do you take? Okay. So long. Okay. I've always liked the fungoid ships. The construction ship looks really nice. It's like a mini Colossus. Let's see. 
no stone sign. Okay, yeah, it says a brick somewhere. Nope, thank you. Unless it's the right side. Okay. Well. How long do we have there? 175 days. Keep that going. Uh, okay, we'll be getting that because we're about to get the colony. And we'll get this one. Okay. So wow. we oh. really hit this tech out of the ballpark. Okay. Uh I'm gonna go for zero G refineries. Cause and that will let us Hey, can we monetize this? Cause that will let us get more resources and we require more resources if we're gonna be running on a more isolationist empire. Ooh, 10 minerals. One of the types of... Is there a si oh, 6 and 4. Ooh, that's really good. Now, you really... You want the 6 mineral welds. Because they are beautiful. 6 minerals for 1 energy. Beautiful. Construction complete! Oh, okay. So, that's smaller. And that's a big one. Okay, colonize. And... Uh... And I just... Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, I do. Degree, stove patch, Dick's nest. That one sounds nice. Okay. Construction complete. There we go. I think we'll get to resource we'll scan complete. We'll get two more systems. How about that? Prospect analyzed. Okay, you research the. You get that one, and we get another. So uh, no, we can't. Okay. Well, great thing about the market, market, is that we can just get that, go back here, and buy construction. Log updated. There we go. Okay. Research complete. We did it. Okay. I always like to see the colony ships go. Anomaly found. Hey, can we monetize this? Here we go. Construction complete. Okay. Sorry about the for the audio inter. Sorry about the audio interruptions. And um, here we go. Priming planet for settlement. Okay. Now we have two planets. Okay. That'll wrap it. That'll wrap us up for this episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!